Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news and updates for the 3.1 patch. So, ahead of the client-side patch that will be deployed on Friday the 6th of April, CIG have pushed out a hotfix to help with the empty ship lists. This should resolve the issues with all the ships disappearing from the ASOP terminals. The hotfix has also reset your Alpha UBC, so if you were uh, wiped out by a bug, you lost all your cargo or whatever, and you have zero Alpha UBC, now you're back at your base level. So, check it out and get testing. However, I say however as if it's a bad thing, this hotfix has also fixed Star Marine and Arena Commander. You can now change your loadouts for your characters and ships, actually get multiplayer matches, and people are in them playing them. Uh, and they're pretty fun. I do recommend in Arena Commander turning off the safety modes for flight on your ship, as everything slides far too much uh, with them on for me. That is personal preference though. Remember that you can change your default flight modes and pips in the options now. The client side patch, assumedly 3.1.2, one is set to address stability and the insurance claim issues that cause the most concern for the 3.1.0 patch. Potentially there could be a good few other fixes in there too. I'm hoping that we see the new weapons that are in the 3.1 patch in the electronic access store soon too. It would be nice to use these new weapons in the patch as their new content. Also with this patch, or at least at the same time, they are adding the Reclaimer loaner for the Hull D, Hull E and Orion. So you, if you've got one of those ships, you'll be getting a Reclaimer in the meantime. And they're also adding the Cyclone loaner to the 600i Explorer and Cyclone variants, and adding the Hornet loaner to the Constellation Aquila and Reclaimer. That's so that you can play Arena Commander with a fighter if you have one of those ships. Crashes and cargo. So in the meantime, for those of you crashing with cargo on your ships, if you are incredibly close to a landing pad or have actually landed on it when you crash out, try loading up your ship from that port's ASOP terminal. After you've loaded that back in and actually deployed it on a pad, then go to the trade console and then see if you can transfer your cargo. If you do it the other way around, there can be errors and bugs and you can lose the cargo still. But in a some cases, you will still be able to retrieve your ship and get your cargo off safely. I know it's a, a little of a bodgy workaround, but, you know, hopefully that patch in the next couple of days will fix some of that. April subscriber updates. So RSI subscribers have access to the Razor for the entirety of April. Also, they're going to be getting custom skinned Gemini pistols this month. I believe the midterm goal uh, is now to have skins and uh, that sort of um, customised items for flare bonuses for subscribers. Every month we have a giveaway for Star Citizen as well. This time for April, it's for the heavy salvage ship, the massive Aegis Reclaimer, provided by our featured app, my Radar. My Radar is a free weather app that includes full scale maps of the three moons of Crusader. Yes, from Star Citizen, including Yella, Selen, and Daymar. Users can scroll around the interactive maps and zoom in to see the landscape and geography of these moons. Also, My Radar is a real life weather app, giving you information on the weather potentially in your area. And My Radar is available in the US, Europe, Japan, South Korea, and coming this summer to Australia as well. Uh, it's available on iOS, Android, and and Windows, please check it out in the links below if you are interested. But to be in for a chance of winning that Reclaimer, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then comment on any of my Star Citizen videos made through April. Each video gives you another chance to win. Do you have any questions about that patch, about Star Citizen or Squadron 42's development, or gameplay mechanics or suggestions for other videos? Please chuck them in the comments below. A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. If you're interested in becoming one of those lovely fellows or fellowettes, then please find the links to Patreon down below as well as everything else we've talked about. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as it really does help me and I'll see you in the verse. <laughs>